Hey there Bears fans, how's it going? What's your thoughts on the Bears first pick of the 2016 NFL Draft? Now the original thing for the Bears, they had the 11th pick. But the trade, I forgot what team had it at the time, the number 9th pick. So this is the sports section. Okay, he's from Georgia, he's a pass rusher, and that is awesome. It says right here, Bears trade up to ninth pick to select George, Georgia linebacker. That's awesome. I might mistake linebacker. Hopefully he's not a bust, because every time Bears pass, they picked a player they dominate in college, and when they get to the NFL, especially the Bears, they're a total bust. It sucks. Speaking of that, the number one pick for the Bears last year, their top receiver did not play last year due to injury, and they still drafted him. Go figure. Hopefully, is healthy. So let's see this. Um, I see it right here. Um, he ran a 4.640 yard dash at the NFL Scout Combine in uh, Indianapolis, I think. And he sacks four and a half sacks. That's what uh, Bears need. So that is awesome. Okay, now I just read my own saying. I should have read this before. They trade. Uh, 11th pick for um, Buccaneers, so trade 11th pick and 106th pick to the Buccaneers to land um, Georgia pass rusher special with 9th pick. That is awesome. Hopefully he plays um, the preseason all the way through the regular season. That would be awesome. And here is the front page of the paper. They, they say, um, I cannot really pronounce his name, Simon Floyd of Georgia, Rush Hour, not the movie, not the new series on Channel 2 that's a cheap pop. I just hopefully this will help the Bears out. They had to go young um, sooner or later because all the guys in the past are freaking old and um, they just can't go out anymore. They can't uh, compete. And, you know, Jay Cutler is not getting younger. And I really thought the Bears were going to um, draft a quarterback and he could sit on the sidelines. Then Jay Cutler could teach him. Just like a um, quick example. In uh, Green Bay, they drafted Anna Rodgers. And at the time, Brad Favre was a quarterback. So Anna Rodgers. Learn from Brett Farr and look at uh, Brett Farr um, went to a different team and then down the road he retired and rushed his history. Um, Ann Rogers won a championship with um, Green Bay and the Bears still not have well, not won a championship since the 85 86 season because the whole upper management cannot draft very properly. You know, it sucks. But I am not going to give up on this team. Never at all. So that's awesome. Let's see who they pick uh, today, or uh, sorry, tonight for round two and three. And I think uh, t tomorrow, sorry, I think it's, yeah, Thursday, because it started yesterday. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I think it's a three-day event for the NFL uh, draft live from Chicago, Illinois, in the big-ass theater. That's the old-ass theater. I watched some of it, but not all of it. I think the first round is so much overrated. You know, you could be a total bust, but on the other hand, you could be a freaking superstar. I'll give you another, another example. Um, back in... The glory years, or not really, the early 2000s, Patriots picked up Tom Brady, and he was a sixth-round pick, 
and look it he won freaking Super Bowls I know people are still kind of disappointed what he did or whatever who cares you know that's in the past now he's suspended for four games I'm gonna off to care so if the Bears could pick up a an awesome player like that they would be good to go but for some reason they always get a lemon a bust you know they always dominate in college but when I get to the pros it's a different story so I see you guys on the flip side if you want more of these videos or other videos on my YouTube channel hit the subscribe button I do have Twitter and check out my other social media accounts all the things are down below have a great Friday and a spectacular weekend I'll do more of these videos later on today or tonight probably tonight I want to be able to draft more players. Have a good one.